Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Friday, the 7th of October, 2022. The big story right now is TD number 13 on its way to becoming Tropical Storm Julia. It'll cruise across the Southwest Caribbean and make landfall in Nicaragua late in the weekend and then pass over Central America. And we're going to have to watch the remnant energy from this system to see what happens. It could end up possibly in the Bay of Campeche in a few days after landfall. Here's the satellite animation of it, currently sitting over parts of the uh, Venezuela region and Colombia, and it's gonna move out over the water entirely in the next several hours, and then it should have plenty of opportunity to strengthen, and it'll likely become the fifth hurricane of the 2022 season as it tracks towards Nicaragua with very heavy rain, coastal storm surge, and then all of that energy is gonna spread across Several countries there of Central America bringing a lot of flooding and some serious concerns for threat to human life as that occurs. A lot of mountains down there, a lot of different people live along those hillsides to do farming and whatnot, and it could be rather problematic for those folks who've seen it in the past, and this could happen again with what will eventually be Julia. Now looking at the track guidance here, this is interesting. There's that bend back towards the west-northwest to almost northwest, especially late in the period, if this happens sooner, more of that energy could make it over the Bay of Campeche, and we'll just have to see what the upper air pattern is at that time as to what remains and where it might track from there, starting to get just a little bit more interesting beyond the landfall time here in Central America. That is certainly something we'll keep an eye on. This is what it looks like from one model, the deterministic GFS, as we call it. This is 10 meter wind and sea level pressure and you can see the system does ramp up there once it leaves Colombia and heads into Nicaragua. From a wind perspective, it definitely does try to strengthen all the way to landfall, probably becoming a hurricane. Another way to look at it is from the vorticity standpoint, and this is that energy that I like to look at at the lower levels of the atmosphere, and generally speaking, that energy tries to stay intact across the trek across uh, Central America there into the Bay of Campeche, and beyond the five-day time frame, we'll just have to wait and see how much is left, what the upper level pattern is like. Water temperatures in the Bay of Campeche are still very warm, so it is not out of the realm of possibility that this makes a comeback somewhere in that vicinity. But again, that's beyond the five-day time frame. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, I'll take a closer look at this plus more, including what might happen with this system after Central America. I'll do all of that in my hurricane outlook and discussion video later this afternoon. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. Again, I am Mark Suddeth. I'll be back with you later today.